Hi, and welcome to today's edition of Kitchen Chemistry. I'm Julie, an educator with the New Mexico Museum of Space History. And today, I was thinking of bananas and banana bread and making some for the holidays. But when I got to the grocery store, all the bananas were green. So I tried to think of an experiment that might help my bananas to ripen faster. You just need a few items from around your house to do this experiment. You need some bananas. You need a paper bag. You need a plastic Ziploc bag and some plastic wrap. So go gather up all of those materials and join me right back here. First, take a banana and place it into the paper bag and fold the top over to seal the bag and then set it aside. Next, take the plastic wrap and wrap a piece around the banana so that no air can get in. I put two pieces of plastic wrap around my banana just to make sure. I put the third banana into the plastic Ziploc bag and zipped it closed. And finally, I left the last banana out to ripen on its own. This will be our control, the banana we will use to test the others against to see which ripens the fastest. Now is the time to make your guess. Which banana do you think will ripen the fastest? Set all of the bananas in a safe place and wait for a few days and watch what happens. After a few days, I see that my banana that was left alone, our control, has ripened, but it's still yellow on the back. When I open it up, it is sweet smelling, but only semi-soft. The banana in the plastic bag has ripened, but it still has a little yellow on the back. The plastic bag is wet on the inside and it smells really sweet. The banana is a little softer than the one that was left out. The banana in the plastic wrap barely ripened at all. In fact, it was still very hard on the inside and the banana was not as sweet. The banana in the paper bag ripened the most. There was no yellow left on the banana when I opened it up and the sweet sugars dripped off the banana and it was sticky and very soft. This is the banana I want to use for my banana bread. But why does the paper bag help the banana to ripen the fastest? Well, it all goes back to chemistry. Most of the bananas that are sold in the United States are grown in Central and South America. The bananas have to be harvested while they are green so that they can travel the thousands of miles to get to our grocery store. Then they will be just turning yellow when they are put on the shelves. One thing that triggers the bananas to begin to ripen is the hormone ethylene. Now ethylene is a gas that is produced by the bananas. And this gas is a catalyst in our chemical reaction that is the banana ripening. We all know that a catalyst helps speed up the reaction. So the ethylene is trapped in the paper bag and it circulates around the banana. But the bag is porous, which means that the bag has little holes in it, which allows oxygen to flow into the bag. This will cause the bananas to ripen the fastest. The banana in the plastic wrap did not allow any oxygen in or out, so the chemical reaction could not begin, and the banana did not ripen very much at all. So how did your experiment work? Did it work like mine? Did your bananas in the paper bag ripen the fastest? Did the ones in the cling wrap not ripen at all? Well, thank you for joining me for another edition of Kitchen Chemistry. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we're always adding new information and new projects. And as always, stay home, stay safe, and keep looking up.